Your project sucks. I just love you. Is that your engagement ring? Turns out my project went quite well. Good night, darling. And what are you going to do? I have an early shift at the restaurant tomorrow, so there isn't much time left to work on my project. Are you still doing it? Nobody's gonna invest in it. Don't be so pessimistic, I really believe in it. Okay, whatever. Good night, love. Night. What is it? Breakfast in bed. Mm. Maybe pigeons will like it? I'm sorry, love. It's all I had in the fridge. But once my project takes off, we'll be eating breakfast in Paris. Stop talking about your stupid project! How can you ever be successful if you can't even make breakfast for your girlfriend? But once my- <sighs> Just stop it. Stop it, okay? Maybe we can meet up for lunch? I don't think so. I might have plans. Okay. Come on, dude. Hey. Do you have some spare money? I need to do some shopping today. Sure, babe. Are you crazy? What am I supposed to do with this 20 bucks? I guess you will never understand what love really is. Babe, please, give me some time. Once I'll finish my project, I'll buy you anything you want. Why can't you understand? Your project sucks. It will never succeed. Thank God, that was close. Hopefully no one's gonna see me in this junk. We'll have a luxury car soon, I promise that. Once I Once your project, blah, blah, blah. I know, forget it. Let's go. <sighs> oh, you went shopping. Where did you get the money? Never mind. Look, we've been together for a while now, and I was just thinking, maybe you are the right person. Maybe we truly belong together. Because I feel like I would give everything to you. I think I just love you. Monica, will you marry me? <laughs> no way. Is that your engagement ring? With this tiny diamond? That's not even one carat. Look, sweetheart, I want to give you everything to please you, but you just have to believe in me. Once my project is done, I- <laughs> Okay, stop it right there. Let's get one thing clear. Your project is never going to be successful. Get over it. Julian was right. You're just not good enough for me. Who's Julian? My boy. It's just, uh, I finally found someone who can satisfy my needs. But, but I gave you everything I could. Well, it was just not enough. It seemed like everything he did was just never enough. And so, Monica left Anthony for someone who can satisfy her expensive needs. Meanwhile, though still betrayed and heartbroken, Anthony somehow kept faith in himself and found the strength to continue to work tirelessly. After exhausting nights of working on his project, he became very distracted and made a mistake, which 
as we shall see later, was the best mistake of his life. A couple of days later, Monica wanted to surprise her new boyfriend Julian with an unplanned visit. But instead, she saw Julian's true face. And since then, life's been going downhill for her. Anthony's life, on the other hand, was starting to change for the better. His business idea was approved by investors, and he could finally quit his job and start living the life he always dreamed of. Monica! Anthony, so nice to see you. You look great. Thank you. Is that your car? Well, yeah, it turns out my project went quite well. Wow, great. Um, look, I feel really bad for what I've done to you. And I feel like I never actually stopped loving you. What about your new boyfriend, Ju? Julian. We broke up. He was, um, doesn't matter. I had a second thought about the ring that you gave me. Oh, it's really here she is, Lucy. Hey, let me introduce you. Lucy, this is Monica. Monica, this is Lucy. We used to date few years ago. Oh, nice to meet you. Hey, I didn't know you had a new girlfriend. Oh, you meant fiance, right? Oh, yeah, Anthony proposed to me while we were in Paris. It was the most romantic breakfast I can imagine. I even told him not to spoil you so much. Well, I want you to give everything this world can offer, sweetheart. Thank you, baby. Uh, so, let's get some lunch. Could you give us your best table? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't understand what does she have that I don't. Well, it's simple. Ever since we met, I have never felt guilty giving the best I could for her. She had my back when I was working endlessly on my project. She offered her car when mine completely broke. She has been visiting me every lunch at work. And when you left me because I couldn't afford diamond big enough, she was by my side, waiting patiently until my business took off, and I could finally get her the ring she deserved. Lucy believed in me when I was at my lows, and now that I made it to the top, I'll give her everything she wants. So, can we have two ladies in the menu, please? Yeah, sure. Okay. Do I stay with Greg, or do I leave him for Todd? He's in a coma. I'm sorry, but your fiance's injuries are severe. And we don't know if or when he'll wake up from this coma. I know this is very difficult for you to hear, especially given your condition. We'll do everything we can but we can't make any promises. I have to go now. Again, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Greg, baby. Please, wake up. We're gonna get married. And I love you. I need you. Our baby needs you. Our baby needs a dad. <laughs> Emily, I am so sorry. I don't understand how someone so good can, can get rammed by a car and, and the police haven't found any leads about the culprit. Uh, he just, he was coming back from helping in the soup kitchen. I, we need to have faith. He can still get better. Greg is strong. I'll get us both some tea. It'll do us some good. Thanks, Mary. Todd? Why are you here? Poor Emily. I heard what happened, so I, I came to offer some comfort. Uh, thank you. I, it might not have worked between us, but I always hoped you'd end up happy. You barely even noticed me when we were together. Hey, let's not talk about our past now. I, I came to offer some comfort. I 
heard you two were engaged. Can't imagine how it must feel knowing he might not make it. Don't, don't say that. I'm sorry, uh, I'm sorry. Of course he can make it. I'm, I'm, I'm sure he will. I guess this is a bad time to try to cheer you up. I'll leave you to be with him now, but I'd like to take you out for coffee tomorrow. <laughs> to at least give you a break from your pain. I can't. I have to stay by his side. I can't. It won't help him to torture yourself, Emily. <laughs> the best way to help him is to, to keep your morale high. Please, give yourself some time to breathe. Look, I'll pick you up tomorrow for coffee. Not for yourself, do it for him. He wouldn't want you to torture yourself day and night. All right, all right, you're fine. Tomorrow is fine. Thank you, Todd. I'll see you tomorrow then. And again, I, I, I am so sorry. I hope everything will take a turn for the better. Emily, was that Todd I just saw? Yeah. He said he heard what happened and he wanted to check up with us. Emily, don't take this the wrong way, but I wouldn't trust him. Do you remember how he treated you when you two were together? Like an object. How did he know about Craig being the victim of a hit and run? Why is he back now? I don't know, Mary. He came back for support. I would do the same for him if I knew he was hurting. If you say so, but I would keep an eye out. I would avoid meeting with him in any case. You love Craig. Stay true to yourself. Top puts on airs, but I don't believe he's nice now. It's, it's like they say, all that glitters is not cold. I, I just agreed to meet him for a coffee tomorrow, just to take a break from crying. Emily, I know he's rich and successful and, and good looking, but you can't trust any of that. Just promise me I won't listen to him too much. Uh, do you want to sit at this table? Sure. Here, let me get that chair for you. Thank you. So, how is Greg doing? Not. Not much better. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I invited you here to give you a break, and here I am reminding you that he may never wake up. I'm sorry. I'm sure he'll get better soon. This is all so much harder because I'm pregnant, and now I'm worried about a baby growing up without a dad, like, like I did. Well, I can understand why you'd want someone reliable, successful, and caring to be there for you and your child. I love children. I bet you didn't know that about me. Uh, before we order, I wanted to give you this. I, I, I don't know if I can accept anything. Uh, nonsense. It's for you. You deserve pretty things, especially now. I want to give you everything until you feel better. It's just a gift, Emily, to you from someone who cares about you being happy. All right, if you insist. Todd, this is too much. And you deserve so much more. There we go. Now, how does a latte and some cheesecake sound? Or whatever you want, it's on me. I thought I'd find you here. Where else would I be? You've spent every night here since last week, haven't you? Well, yeah. Look, You have to watch out for yourself, Emily. Just because Greg's future is uncertain, that doesn't mean that yours has to be. I mean, you shouldn't stop yourself from living. Don't say that. Wouldn't he tell you the same thing? Greg wouldn't want you to spend sleepless nights torturing yourself. Wait, what do you mean? That I should give up on Greg? No, no, just... You shouldn't let him get in the way of your life. I thought he was my life. No, no. Emily, listen. Excuse me. 
Uh, maybe I should take some home. Of course. Poor Greg. She has no idea that I'm the one who hit you with my car. There's a little dent in the hood, but I won't blame you for it. You got what you deserved. And now, I'm gonna get your girl and your kid. Your kid is gonna have my name. I always get what I want. Always. I don't care who I have to run over in order to get it. No goody two-shoes Greg is gonna stop me from getting what I want. I need to get that. Oh, no worries. I came here to see how you both were doing. Listen, I'd like to take you out for dinner tonight. My treat. Oh, that's not necessary. Please let me. Come on, I'll take you to my favorite place. Everybody's gotta eat. Well, I'm just so overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. There's nothing I can do and no one knows when he's gonna wake shh, up. Shh, shh, shh. Hey. Come. You'll feel better once we step out. Will that be all? Yes. All right, I'll come back with your food shortly. This place is so fancy. You see, you feel better now that we're out of that hospital room. It just stirs up some emotions. Trust me, no one can feel good in that room. Now, the question is, how long do you want to stay locked up in that room? What do you mean? Emily, he's never going to wake up. Some people go 30, 40 years in a coma, even if it's five years. Do you want to spend five years in that room with him? He's, he might wake up. He will wake up anyway. I'm just being realistic. I'm trying to look out for you and your baby. I can be the father figure your child needs. I still love you, you know? Wait, what? I thought you wanted to tear me up. Because I love you. Break off your engagement and come live with me. You don't even know if he'll live. I can give you everything you want. I can be the dad you want your child to have. If Greg wakes up, he might have amnesia and forget who you are. He might be paralyzed. He might take so long to heal from his injuries that you didn't need to take care of him. Wait, what? Are you ready for that? Are you ready to clean him after he soils himself? What? Yeah. You might need to clean him after he soils himself. I never thought of that. This is all too much for me, Todd. I'm sorry, I have no, to go. Wait, I'm sorry. Please stay with me, have dinner. I'm sorry, I have to go. You know, normally visiting hours are over, but I'm glad to make an exception for you. I was just headed here anyways. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mary? Yeah, sorry. I was just out with Todd. He, uh, he invited me to dinner. Dinner with Todd? Oh, Emily, didn't I say that wasn't a good idea? Yeah, well, he's been great support. He made me feel a lot better. Emily, I know something is off about him. He mistreated you in the past. People like that don't change. <sighs> don't generalize about people, Mary. Todd has made it clear. He's there for me because he cares. A guy like Todd cares only about himself. You and I both know you love Greg. Have faith that he'll get better. I know it's hard, but sometimes all you need is faith. Follow your heart. Remember, all that glitters is not gold. I'm sorry, I can't talk anymore. I, I have to go. Emily, don't act impulsively. Emily? If you want, I could teach you how to change his diapers and take care of him. When he wakes up, there's a big chance that he'll rely on your help because he won't be able to do it on his own.
Miss. Emily chooses to leave Greg to be with Todd. At first, everything seems wonderful. They go out, and Todd gives her expensive gifts. Emily soon moves in with Todd, and they make plans about raising a family. Soon after, though, things start to go wrong. Todd gambles a lot and loses. Unable to pay their bills, their possessions get repossessed. Emily has to take care of their newborn baby and everything else, while Todd takes to drinking. Todd drinks so much that he's unable to hold a job and can't support his family. Todd becomes abusive and yells at Emily while she needs to work two full-time jobs just to pay the bills. But what if she had chosen love instead of Todd's dreamy promises? If you want, I could teach you how to change his diapers and take care of him. When he wakes up, there's a big chance that he'll rely on your help because he won't be able to do it on his own. Follow your heart. All that glitters is not gold. I'm sorry, I, I can't accept this. It doesn't feel right. Thank you. It would be helpful if you could show me how to take care of him properly. Okay, sure. So first step, uh, you should have your wife's, of course the diaper, and then when Emily chooses to stay with Greg, life becomes better quickly. Baby, are you are you waking up, Greg? Oh, can you please check on him? I think he's yeah. waking up. All right. Oh my God. Pulse is good. Oh my gosh, baby. Vitals are good. Greg, please, please tell me you're follow my finger. Please okay. Tell me and if you can hear us, blink twice. Please, 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 please. Greg wakes up from his coma a few days later. Greg receives a huge insurance payout, which not only covers his hospital bills, but gives them enough to set up a secure investment fund. Greg goes through physiotherapy and quickly recovers from his injuries. Greg recognizes Todd as the one who hit him with his car, and Todd gets arrested for hit and run. Emily and Greg move into a nice home, where Greg showers Emily with love every day. Do I stay with Greg? Or do I leave him for Todd? In our previous episode, Emily found out that her fiancé Greg has fallen into a coma after a suspicious hit-and-run accident, which left a pregnant Emily heartbroken and waiting for Greg's uncertain recovery. Emily's ex, Todd, suddenly visited her, offering comfort. It might not have worked between us, but I always hoped you'd end up happy. I'll pick you up tomorrow for coffee. Not for yourself, do it for him. He wouldn't want you to torture yourself day and night. All right, all right, you're fine. Tomorrow is fine. Thank you, Todd. Don't take this the wrong way, but I wouldn't trust him. How did he know about Craig being the victim of a hit and run? Why is he back now? Todd began giving Emily expensive gifts and started to confuse her. I, I don't know if I can accept anything. Oh, nonsense, it's for you. You deserve pretty things, especially now. I can understand why you'd want someone reliable, successful, and caring to be there for you and your child. 
I love children. I bet you didn't know that about me. Hey, just because Craig's future is uncertain, that doesn't mean that yours has to be. I mean, you shouldn't stop yourself from living. What do you mean? That I should give up on Greg? No, no, just you shouldn't let him get in the way of your life. Todd later revealed that he's the one that had hit Greg with his car in order to get back together with Emily. Now, I'm gonna get your girl and your kid. Your kid is gonna have my name. No goody two-shoes Greg is gonna stop me from getting what I wanted. I used to get that. Oh, no worries. Listen, I'd like to take you out for dinner tonight. My treat. Oh, that's not necessary. Please let me. Everybody's gotta eat. Well, I'm just so overwhelmed. I don't know what to do. There's nothing I can do and no one knows when he's gonna wake up. Hey. Come. You'll feel better once we step out. Todd pushed Emily to leave Greg, resulting in Emily having to make a choice between the two men. Emily, he's never going to wake up. I can be the father figure your child needs. I still love you, you know? Wait, what? I thought you wanted to tear me up. Because I love you. Break off your engagement come live with me. This is all too much for me, Todd. I'm sorry, I have no, to go. Wait, I'm sorry, please stay with me, have dinner. I'm sorry, I have to go. I was just out with Todd. He, uh, he invited me to dinner. Dinner with Todd? Oh, Emily, didn't I say that wasn't a good idea? You and I both know you love Greg. Have faith that he'll get better. I know it's hard, but sometimes all you need is faith. Follow your heart. Remember, all that glitters is not gold. Ultimately, Emily ended up choosing Todd. And later found out that life with him was not at all what he had promised her. But how would Emily's life look if she rejected Todd and chose to stay with Greg? If you want, I could teach you how to change his diapers and take care of him. When he wakes up, there's a big chance that he'll rely on your help because he won't be able to do it on his own. Follow your heart. All that glitters is not gold. I'm sorry, I, I can't accept this. It doesn't feel right. Thank you. It would be helpful if you could show me how to take care of him properly. Okay, sure. So first step, uh, you should have your wipes. Of course, the diaper, and then when Emily chooses to stay with Greg, life becomes better quickly. Baby, are you are you waking up, Greg? Oh, can you please check on him? I think he's yeah. waking up. All right. Oh my God. Pulse is good. Oh my gosh, baby. Vitals are good. Greg, please, please tell me you're awake. follow my finger. Okay. And if you can hear us, blink twice. Please, 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 please. 
Greg wakes up from his coma a few days later. Greg receives a huge insurance payout, which not only covers his hospital bills, but gives them enough to set up a secure investment fund. Greg goes through physiotherapy and quickly recovers from his injuries. Greg recognizes Todd as the one who hit him with his car, and Todd gets arrested for hit and run. Emily and Greg move into a nice home, where Greg showers Emily with love every day. Do I stay with Greg? Or do I leave him for Todd? Are you going to pay for that? Yeah, of course. Sorry, I'm very distracted today. It'll be uh, $60. And are you going to pay by cash or card? Just a second. Um, have I seen you anywhere before? Because your face looks very familiar. Well, we've been going to the same school since you moved to the city. Oh. And we have history classes together. Um, last year we had English and... Okay, okay, I got it. Sorry, I don't remember your name. Elliot. Really? Elliot. That is such a beautiful name. It's actually the name of my favorite um, singer. Really? I, I don't think I know him. You don't have to. I bet your music taste is great. Well, I... I like jazz. Really? Yeah. Me too. Really? I, I've never met anyone who likes jazz before. Well, maybe that's because we're both special. You know, I think we get along pretty well. Is there any chance you have a friend's discount? Do you think we're friends? Aren't we? I guess we are. Um, so what about that discount? Well, there's no friends discount, but maybe I could give you the employee discount, but um, I'd have to pay for it with my own card. Oh, perfect. I would love to get this bracelet as a present. Really? You want a present from me? Only from you. Um, yeah, okay. Um, okay, uh, here you go. Thank you, Elliot. You're so sweet. Uh, wait. Uh, maybe I could get your phone number. <laughs> My phone number? Sure. Thanks. Bye. Did you steal this one too? No, I found a better way to get some free stuff. I'll need more explanation here. All I need to do is flirt with a cashier. That old guy. Ew, Skylar, that's disgusting. No, not him. The new cashier from our school. Edward? Ethan? Edmund? Elliot? That nice guy from history? Yes, the same one. Uh, wait, what? Nice? He's a nerd. Yeah, I, I guess. I like interested in him. What? No, don't be ridiculous. Why did you flirt then? Because he almost caught me stealing and he asked how I'm gonna pay for it. And I was saving myself. And it worked. He bought it for me. Just like that. 
Well, I lied a bit and told him that he's my friend. Skylar, what? I'm not gonna actually be friends with him. I know. That's exactly why I don't agree with this. He literally did nothing to deserve it. He's really sweet, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry. What? Since when do you care about some nerd's boy feelings? <sighs> Look, he is desperate to have any girl's attention. All I need to do is flirt a little bit and I can get free stuff from the store. And we both win. He gets the attention from me and I get free stuff. It's way better than stealing anyways. I still don't think it's fair to him. Honestly, Natalie, I don't really care what you think. some pretty jewelry or like um, accessories or something. Yeah, of course. We've got a, a lot of specialty ones in the back if you'd like. Um, yeah, sure. What's the price range? I'll get back to you in a moment. Okay. If you... Hey, uh, you came back. Of course, it's my favorite store. Well, then I'm uh, very happy to be working here. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I uh, called you yesterday and uh, some old man picked up. <laughs> Oh, that's weird. It's perfect. It would look perfect on me, wouldn't it? Uh, yeah, it, it would look good. I'll never be able to afford it. Is, uh, is it expensive? Or? No, it's just that um, my family situation has been difficult recently. My dad died last year, and um, my mom got fired from her job, so we barely have money for food and rent, and I almost ran out of my savings, so, you know. I'm really sorry about your dad and your mom. I'm just, um, I wish I could maybe help somehow, or... Well, you already know I like the shirt. You want me to buy it? Well, you said you want to help, so... I don't, I don't know, Skylar. I already bought you that bracelet. Oh, you said my phone number wasn't working. Uh, yeah. Let me check. Sure. <laughs> of course. I made a typo. How silly of me. I, I don't think you're silly. How about you call me tonight? R really? Yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, uh, okay, I, I will. So what about that t-shirt? Um. Our school is throwing a ball. <laughs> uh-huh, like with beautiful dresses, dancing and everything. Wait, what? Really? When? Mm -hmm. Next month. Crap, we don't have much time left. Is that a new t-shirt? Yeah. Do you like it? Yeah, looks pretty on you. How did you get it? Elliot, duh. Skylar, please don't do this to him. You're way better than this. I don't want to hear it, Natalie. I don't care if you think it's wrong. I'm sick of you acting like my mom. Besides, there is something more important. I have to be the most beautiful girl in the ball. And you're gonna help me. Skylar, I can't. I have to retake an exam on Friday. I really need to study. I only came by to tell you about the ball. So you're telling me you're gonna leave me at the times that I need you the most? I thought you were my true friend. Why do you need me? Wake up, Natalie. I need a dress for the ball and Nate has to love it. It's my chance and I need your help. Oh, I swear to God, sometimes it feels like you can't understand anything. Come on, 
Let's go. We don't have a whole day. What do you think? I don't know, Sky. Isn't that a bit too much? It's just a school dance after all. Just a school dance? Natalie. This is my chance to get Nate, the hottest boy in school, to be my boyfriend. It's not just a school dance. This changed my life. Well, if you like the dress, then take it. Well, you're really in a bad mood, huh? Okay, whatever. I'm gonna get this dress for myself then. It's perfect, isn't it? Sure. Hey. Hi. You're also not in a good mood. What is happening today? I just called you several times and you never picked up and you never called me back. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, um, I've lost my phone. Oh. Yeah. Looks good on me, doesn't it? Well, yeah, you... You look stunning. Thanks. Do you know what would look even better? Uh, no. You. Being next to me. I, I, uh... What? What did you say? You don't want to go to the school dance with me? With you? To... To the school dance? I... I'm... I'd love to go with you. I can't believe you're asking me. I've been dreaming about this for so long. And I, I never thought I'd be good enough for you, but... Of course you're good enough. But if you want to feel better about it, you could pay for my dress. Skylar, look, I like you a lot, but I can't buy you this dress. Last time a customer complained to my manager because she saw that I paid for you and, well, my manager threatened to fire me if I ever do it again. So. Elliot, just imagine me with this dress at the ball. No, okay. Imagine us together at the ball with this dress. Every boy in school is going to be jealous of you because I'm going to look perfect and you're going to be the whole night next to me. Yeah. Okay, I'll... I'll, I'll pay for the dress. I, I want you to look perfect. Thanks. You're so sweet. I'm gonna be back in a sec. Can't wait to see you wearing that to the school dance. Let's go. This would look perfect with my dress. Sky, you can't ask him to pay for this too. I know. Excuse me, miss. Miss? Hi. Um, I'm gonna be as polite about this as I can be. I need to see inside of that bag. This must be a mistake. I just paid for everything. I know I saw you pay, but I still am going to have to look inside of this bag. Okay, now, your receipt says you paid for the dress, but you didn't pay for this necklace. Sir, it's the first time I'm seeing this necklace. I have no idea how it got into a bag. You don't say. He must have put it in while packing up the dress. Miss Elliot is one of our most loyal employees. Why would he do that? Because he's desperately in love with me. Is
Is that right? She stole these two a few days ago. Mm. What are you doing? I'm telling the truth because I'm sick of your lies. And you just threw Elliot under the bus. You can't do this to him. Elliot, she wasn't planning on going to the school ball with you. She was going with Nate. She only flirted with you to get the free stuff. I should have realized that girls like you are never interested in guys like me. You know, you know what really hurts the most is, is mm -hmm. that I really believed you and I, uh, I thought that you were poor and that I could help you. And I was sad about your dad, but I guess those were lies too. Or that? Uh, well, she said that her dad died last year. I never thought he'd go this far. Her dad is alive and well. I saw him today. Elliot, please go call the police for me. Will do. Please, not the police. I... Miss, you just got caught stealing from our store. I really have no choice. Police are going to be outside in a minute. Okay, miss, please come with me. It's not the police. I want to go. I want to go to the police. Please, 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 come on. Hey, guys. What did you think about the video? Do you have a similar exciting story to tell? Let us know in the comments. Maybe we'll use it in our next video. We're publishing new short stories every week, so be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to be the first to see the new Secret Diaries.